In this video, we are showing you two solutions for solving mission two called Oil Platform for this year's FLL Super Powered Robot Game, one with the Spike Prime and one with the EV3. In this mission, points are awarded for each fuel unit that is in the fuel truck at the end of the match, and bonus points are awarded if the fuel truck with at least one fuel unit inside is at least partially over the fueling station target at the end. This is a three-part mission, and you will have to decide for yourself if it's worth the effort and time to unhook the truck and bring it to the fueling station on the other side of the table in order to get the 10 bonus points. We will show you all parts of this mission for both of our solutions. For our Spike Prime solution, we are using the lift arm built from the tools section of the instructions available in the Spike Prime software. We only added a black pin at the end of the arm, sticking out of the underside. Otherwise, this is the same arm we are also using for some of the other missions. For delivering the truck to the fueling station, we have built a small cart to carry the truck. We can simply hang it off of the lift arm. The little wheels on the cart cause less friction than the rubber tires of the truck, so it's easier to maneuver the robot. Our robot launches from the red launch area. The robot activates the red lever to release the fuel units from the side closer to the launch area rather than from the east. After releasing the fuel units, the robot returns to the launch area where a team member repositions the robot so that it is in a straight line with the fuel truck. On the press of a button, the robot drives forward to the fuel truck, places the arm with the pin inside the cab behind the red bar, and pulls the truck back into the launch area. The team member then hooks the sled onto the lift arm, places the fuel truck on top, and positions the robot for the next launch. The robot now pushes the truck on the cart to the fueling station target area by the hybrid car. Once it has arrived, the robot simply drives backwards and pulls the arm out from underneath the cart. Unlike in other missions, there is no mention in the rulebook that the fueling truck may not touch any robot equipment at the end of the match, so unless there will be a rule update, it should be okay to use equipment, like our cart, to push the truck into the fueling station and leave it touching the truck. For our EP3, we use the base arm just without the bar in between the two angled beams. Our robot launches from the left, red launch area. It approaches the oil platform from the west and lifts the red lever to release three fuel units. In the same program, it then drives towards the fuel truck and pushes the attachment underneath the truck and in between the first and second wheel on both sides. From there, the robot can then pull the truck off its platform and take it back to the launch area. There, a team member takes the truck, flips it on its roof, and wedges it between the two attachment arms. The roof is smooth, which is better for pushing. The truck doesn't have to be upright in the fueling station, it just needs to have one fuel inside it at the end of the match, so it doesn't matter how it ends up there. When ready, the team member pushes the center button to launch the second part of the program. This sends the robot on its way to the fueling station target. Once the truck is over the target area circle, the robot lifts the arm which releases the truck and then drives backwards returning to home. For solving this mission you earn 5 points for each fuel unit that is inside the fuel truck at the end of the match. If any part of the truck with at least one fuel unit inside is over the circle of the fueling station target at the end of the match, another 10 points are scored, for a total of 25 possible points. As we said before, you will have to decide whether you want to attempt getting those bonus points for this mission. If you want to achieve a higher score, you probably want to use your time more effectively to solve one or two other missions that award more than 10 points total in that amount of time. But it is a fun and challenging mission to attempt.